Well, don't be afraid of the dark if you're trying to keep your weight down. A new study finds women exposed to light when they sleep are more likely to be obese. Lights from a TV, alarm clock, or even a cell phone could be enough to make an impact. Researchers think the reason is that body rhythms are affected by light. They warn, however, there is no evidence that sleeping in the dark will prevent obesity. Well, relief for millions of, Amer of Americans with heart issues could be found in something smaller than a nickel. Doctors are experimenting with a new tiny pacemaker that can even be implanted without surgery. CBS 2's Dr. Max Gomez shows us how this works. At only 24 millimeters, this new pacemaker is about the size of just one of the pills Mary Lou Treo takes to help control her heart condition. My heart does not beat regularly. It skips beats. And sometimes it's normal, and then all of a sudden it just goes out of rhythm. To better control that, Mary Lou became one of the first patients in the U.S. to have this new pacemaker implanted. She knew she needed a pacemaker, but didn't like the size of traditional models or the wires that are used to connect them to the heart. The new device is basically just the device. Uh, the electrodes are part of the can, and uh, therefore it eliminates uh, the lead. Dr. Ralph Agostini implanted the pacemaker at the Ohio State University Wexner Medical Center without surgery. He fed the device through an artery in Mary Lou's leg and attached it inside her heart. The tiny, high-tech pacemaker will constantly monitor Mary Lou's heart rhythm and activate only when necessary to keep her heart beating normally. If it stops for a moment, the pacemaker will kick in and keep your heart trundling right along. So with that sort of therapy, with intermittent pacing, it can last as long as 14 years. It's already working for Mary Lou, who says she was more than willing to test the new technology today in the hopes it'll pay off for others tomorrow. Because no surgery is required, implanting the new pacemaker only takes about 15 minutes and cuts down considerably on the risk of infection. Doctors say the device is so small, if anything ever goes wrong, they could easily remove it or just leave it in place and implant a new one. Dr. Max Gomez, CBS 2 News. And the device is not yet FDA approved. So far, only a few dozen have been implanted as part of a clinical trial.